Hello and welcome to another one of my poetry videos. It's Kirsty Ventures Marks here and today's video is all about a poem or a collection of poems called Treeptick. Um, guess what it's about? It's about some trees. <laughs> so this poem, Treeptick, it was inspired by a tree scene in an amazing, amazing place called Calderwood uh, in West Lothian, just outside of Edinburgh, an ancient an ancient woodland, and uh, I've been involved in an exhibition with a bunch of other artists celebrating this particular place. So Treeptick was inspired by that place. The word Treeptick, yeah, well, obviously it's, it's a bit of a riff on a triptych, and a traditional triptych is, is simply a three-panel picture. So this poetic triptych it is structured pretty much in the same way, a three-part poem, um, based on three different species of tree. So what I wanted to do when I was writing this, I wanted to engage with each one of these trees uh, in, in, a, in a different and separate way um, and give each, each tree or each species of tree its own kind of feel, its own set of emotions and its own individual lines, which meant, yeah, there's three separate poems, uh, three separate poems um, which connect together. And um, we'll see that towards the end of this video. But meanwhile, let's take a look at each one of the separate poems. So I started the triptych, the left-hand panel is the beach. There are some beautiful beech trees in the Calder Wood. So here's the beach and if you've ever walked around a big old beech tree, you'll know that there tend to be a lot of uh, beech nut shells on the ground, which makes it a bit crunchy, which was the inspiration for this part. Wide and crackle loud, the earth collects more promise than it can bear. From stretching boughs heavy, laden with beech nut. So this was the beech. We move to the middle panel of the triptych, which is the mysterious birch tree. And this birch here, you can kind of get a hint of its silvery bark. Here's quite an old twisted looking birch tree, that one. The silver line, a moon song, drifting through branches with bullfinch wings and unspoken wishes. And then the third, the final panel of this triptych is the mighty oak. They are on the right hand side of the triptych. Tracing around a leaf, up and down and up again, a life story told in twist, in burr and bend, the unfurling of time. So those were the three separate poems of this triptych. What happens when we put them together? Okay, well, the idea that I wanted when I was writing this poem was to have three separate poems that also fit together to make one single poem, which is kind of like a tiny mixed forest, as I like to think of it in this case. So what happens when we put them all together? Hopefully they're all gonna make sense when we go together. So we'll see how it sounds, you'll get an idea of what this all means when you see them combined. So here's the treat tick. Wide and crackle loud, the silver line tracing around a leaf. The earth collects a moon song up and down and up again. More promise than it can bear, drifting through branches, a life story told. From stretching boughs, heavy with bullfinch wings and twist in burr and bend, laden with beech nut and unspoken wishes, the unfurling of time. There's the whole thing. And, and when I was making this for the exhibition, I did a lot of cutting and pasting. Here is, here's what it looks like, um, or more or less what it looked like uh, when you see them put together. And then you get more of a feel for how the actual triptych part of it is. So let's have a look at it again. Beach. Wide and crackle loud, 
the earth collects more promise than it can bear from stretching boughs heavy laden with beech nut. Birch, the silver line, a moon song drifting through branches with bullfinch wings and unspoken wishes. Oak, tracing around a leaf, up and down and up again, a life story told in twist, in burr and bend, the unfurling of time. And now together, wide and crackle loud, the silver line tracing around a leaf. The earth collects a moon song, up and down and up again, more promise than it can bear, drifting through branches, a life story told from stretching boughs, heavy with bullfinch wings, in twist, in burr and bend, laden with a beech nut and unspoken wishes, the unfurling of time. So there you have the triptych, one of the poems for the collection I've written, inspired by Calderwood. And thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Um, if you're, if you want to find out some more about uh, my work and whatever I'm up to, uh, my poetry, you can read my blog there too. Head on over to uh, my website, kirstyventuresmarks.com, um, and have a little squiz there. There'll be some more poems coming up and more films coming up about these Calderwood uh, poems. So look out for those coming up soon. Meanwhile. Thanks again for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.